Genesis here and today I'm doing a Q&A. Uh, I asked you guys on Instagram, Twitter, Amino, several Aminos to throw any questions my way that you wanted to hear about. Um, I got quite a lot surprisingly, I wasn't expecting that many and unfortunately I wasn't able to include all of them in this video or it would be a little bit long and some of them were kind of repeating things that the others said so I picked my favourites. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Feel free to leave more questions in the comments if you'd like me to do another one of these. Let's get on to the questions. Got my questions on my laptop. Uh, it's a little difficult to see, so I'm going to pop it on my lap. I'm sorry if it obscures some of the video. That's the only way I'm actually going to be able to read the questions. Our first question is from Noir Uwu Draws on Instagram, who asks, How are you? I'm pretty good. Thank you for asking. It's nice to be asked sometimes. When did you really get into the furry fandom? This was asked by Ace Strange on Instagram. Uh, I made my furry Instagram account in 2017, in October. Uh, it probably took me a couple months to really get into stuff. Uh, I was trying to learn about like original species and different artists and all that kind of stuff. But once I sort of understood more of that, I felt a lot more at ease in the community and I felt like I could actually be a part of it. So I'd say probably maybe around Christmas time in 2017, so nearly two years. How did you come up with your main soda? This was asked by nonentity02 on Instagram. I actually didn't create my soda Druzy. Uh, she was a gift to me from my partner Craig. Um, I saw her design for sale and I really loved it, but I couldn't afford it at the time. And then Craig surprised me and actually bought it for me. I have changed her design a little bit now. I've had her for like a year or so, maybe a little longer. Um, so she has definitely evolved, but that is where the design originally came from. Um, I picked her species, the Mexican wolf, because I really like wolves, but I thought that would be too boring, so I picked a slightly different species. What's the longest time you can spend in a full suit? This was asked by my friend Summit's Home on Instagram. I haven't tested this, I've honestly only full suited four or five times, and only for short periods, like making videos or like just going out and about. Um, <laughs> I will probably end up testing this at uh, MFF in December. It's a big con, I'm going to be taking Genesis as her full suit, so we'll see how that goes, but I'm hoping not to reach my limits. <laughs> Delphi on Australian Furry Amino asks, why choose such a colourful persona? What was the creative thought that went into it? Like I said, I didn't actually design Druzy, but I just really, really love rainbow characters. Like, 80% of my characters have rainbows, I don't think I have any that are natural. So that's kind of why I was drawn to her design. Silverloo on Fursuit Maker Amino asked, what made you call yourself Druzy? Uh, I think it was actually a suggestion from Craig. Uh, Druzy is a type of crystal, so you know that's kind of a pretty thing. Um, and I really struggled actually finding a name for Druzy originally, so it kind of just stuck and I eventually just went with that. Sally on Facebook asked, where do you get your materials from? Uh, I've done a much more in-depth explanation of this in my other video, uh, I'll leave a link somewhere around if you want to check that out. But in short, my main places to go are Big Z Fabrics, Spotlight and Clark Rubber. <laughs> Lil Mallow on Percy Week Amino asked, who's your favourite furry YouTuber? I have to say Bakari, uh, I love the style of her videos, they're sort of informative but still really fun. Um, and being Australian as well, I've just always loved her. <laughs> Trash Hyena on Percy Week Amino asked, who is your vi favourite video game character? I would have to say either Nathan Drake from Uncharted or Ellie from The Last of Us. They're both like really interesting characters with like a bit of fun aspects to them and I've always just loved them. Orange Cream Pop on Fursuit Maker Amino asks, what is so appealing about fursuits? Why do you personally like fursuiting? I like it because it's fun <laughs> um, and I really appreciate like the art and the effort and time that goes into suits. Um, on a wider scale, I think a lot of people like them because they can express a different part of themselves that they might not be able to do normally. Um, I find as well it helps me with some anxieties. I feel like my comfort zones are a little bit different when <laughs> no one can see my face. Um, but I think everyone always just really loves the art form and all of, um, all of the time and skill that goes into making a fursuit. Nameless the Dutch Angel Dragon on Furry Amino asked, Would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees? I'd have to say bear, bees scare the crap out of me. Danny Matsu on Instagram asked, how many beans is too many beans? There can never be too many beans. All of the beans. 
Hello Spots on Fursuit Maker Amino asks, why don't people like furries? Some people in my class were making fun of furries and some of it was directed at me, but my friends told them to stop. First of all, good on your friends for backing you up. Um, second of all, I think the media plays a really big part in the way that uh, other people see furries. They like to portray furries as like sex crazy people who think that they're really animals, <laughs> which doesn't really give us a very good impression. And people who have never been uh, around any type of furry or and not into that kind of thing. That's all they've seen. They don't really know the in intricacies that go into the community, like the art and the friendships and all of like the amazing stuff. Um, of course, there is like the not safe for work stuff, but like even the majority of that, it's not super creepy weird. It's just people like, using another art form to express themselves. Um, so unfortunately, the media plays a really big part in how other people see us. I have seen some really positive media going around lately. You know, some videos and articles and things actually showing furries in a positive light, which is so nice to see and I hope that that continues to grow and that outsiders might start seeing us as just people with a bit of a funny, different uh, hobby instead of crazy, animal-obsessed people. <laughs> Maddie the Weirdo on Instagram asks, What is the favourite suit of yours that you've made so far? I would have to say it would be my neon saber tooth tiger. Um, it was a partial I made a little while ago and I just love the colours and the design all together. I also think the construction and the actual design like of the head turned out really nice. It was definitely just my best suit. Um, I am still improving with every single suit that I make, uh, but that one was definitely a big milestone for me. Georgia on Facebook asks, what year did you make your first suit? It was September of 2018, so over a year ago now, and I've made quite a lot since. Weird Creature on Fursuit Maker Amino asked, if you had the opportunity to get a new fursuit without the cost, like someone else paid for it, would you and who would it be from? Uh, I would definitely say yes. Um, if I could pick anyone, it would probably be Elf Dragon. I just love their suits. Um, I'd really love to commission them one day for like a crazy rainbow artistic liberty design. I just think that would be so cool. Their suits are like my really big inspiration. What's your fursuit's favourite food? Is asked by Ashen Oni Creations on Australian Fursuit Maker Amino. Drewzy loves chocolate cookies! <laughs> One last question for today. Uh, this was asked by Secret on Australian Furry Amino. They asked, who is your biggest inspiration within the fandom? I couldn't possibly pick just one person. Uh, there's such a huge range of artists and makers and just people in this community that every time I log onto any of my social media, I'm just like, exploded with inspiration from everywhere. It just makes me want to draw, it makes me want to make more suits and I just absolutely love that about this community. Uh, just every time I just feel so inspired and I really, really appreciate that. Well, that's all the questions I have time for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this little get to know me a little bit video. Uh, like I said at the beginning, feel free to leave more questions in the comments if you want to see me do another one of these or any suggestions of any videos if you'd like. Uh, let me know what you thought and feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more. And I'll see you guys in the next video.